guys um welcome back now we can have a question like this as you can see of the diagram here um we have the rectangular glass prism and then and the rest of the labas now the question said you have been provided with a rectangular glass prism optical pins and other necessary apparatus using the above diagram as a guide carry out the following instructions fix the drawing paper provided to the drawing board to place the glass and prism on the drawing board on the drawing paper sorry and trace the outline a b c d of the prism i i i remove the prism mark a point o on a b such that a o is about one quarter as i said before of a b i i i v draw a normal through point o also draw an incident rate to make an angle i equals to 25 degree with the normal at o then fix the two pins at p1 and p2 on the incident ray v replace the prism fix two other pins p3 and p4 such that the pins appear to be in a straight line with the images of the pins at p1 and p2 when viewed through the block along dc remove the prism join points p3 and p4 and produce it to meet dc at i also draw a line to join oi with o as center and using any um call guns okay convenient ready sorry draw a circle to cut the incident ray and the refracted ray at e and h respectively maintain this radius throughout the um experiment then draw the perpendicular ef and gh measure and record d equals ef i equals gh ix repeat the procedure for four other values of i 35 45 and 55 65 sorry respectively in each case measure and record the i exploit a graph of d on the vertical axis against i on the horizontal axis determine the slope of the graph state two precautions taken to ensure accurate results attach your traces to your booklet then stage next law calculate the critical angle of water for a water uh, interface refractive in the quality of water those, those ones are now um other questions that's uh tough. now guys having seen um the question and listened to the whole thing um the most important thing we ought to do is to find this um, e F and G H after the whole um, English they were just telling you these are the things you need to do in order to do the practical so but you can't tell them that um, actually yeah I know that's the real procedure but I can deal with this or whatever around so the major thing we need to find they are E F and G H that is the length from here to here let's check out it we have this and then the length from here to here so we are going to analyze this it's very simple i don't know you, you're really going to love it it's very very simple okay so now um what you just have to do is first of all if you have this question i would like you to do something like this first draw um a table in this way in that table you are going to have i r and then okay um if you also like okay you have just just have i and r first of all now for our i the values of our i uh um think that is 25 degrees half i to have 25 degrees um what nice 35 degrees 45 degrees 55 and then 65 degrees now if you have a table this way you can just do it as a rough table and not a main table because you still get the main table so you can have this as a rough table if you have a rough like this now i want you to know snes law snes law states that sign of angle of incident the ratio of the sign of angle of incidence to the um, to that of the angle of um, refraction is a constant for a given pair of um, media so if um what it simply means is that if we have this is our i this is our r so sine i over sine r is um, a constant 
you understand now that constant it has been verified to be 1.5 on the dot so whatever practical you are doing on this they are expecting that at the end of the day your graph is going to have a slope of um at least 1.5 between the range 1.5 1.45 and then maybe like 1.6 1.7 you understand but if you have if you can have um 1.5 on the dots that is very very accurate as in perfect and i'm going to teach you how you can do that here okay so if that is the case now analyzing this value diagram from here i believe if you're looking at that you can see something like this you can visualize something that is going this way we have this as this um angle here then this is 90 degrees you see the here's to here this is 90 degrees i hope you can see that so if that is the case we'll now have something like this we'll have something like this so we've seen that this is now our eye that very eye we're talking about located here you get it so if that is the case if we now come down here we also have something like this um okay, it's going to be this way we have something like this something like this um um like this then this one going this way so this is now our r and it's also and in degrees so if that is just a case it's very simple therefore they just need the length of from here to here and then the length of here to here this is our e f and this is our g h so dear friends just keep watching i'm going to show you in the next video how you can go about this very fast they're very very simple Um, but before I leave, I would like to show you something that is very, very interesting. Now, if you look at this um, diagram here, I believe you can see something like this. In this diagram, in this circle here, this circle right here, you have this, right? Now, if that is a circle from the question, you were asked to pick a convenient radius of your choice. So you can go ahead and pick three, or you can pick two. Okay, let's take two, two centimeters as our a convenient for this for us now if we if we pick two centimeters as our convenient for this therefore this very hypotenuse here is automatically two centimeters this one is also two centimeters do you get it there okay let me show you practically what i mean by that if you have this we have this now then you will see that um from that diagram keep looking and keep watching and see how i'm gonna arrive at that so if you have this here therefore um you can have this also okay now if you look at that diagram you'll be seeing something like this you also see this one is going this way you know that this is your radius of this circle this is also the radius of the circle so this is just that very radius we've chosen and that is um, of course a two centimeter this is of course two, so two centimeter so you've seen the eyes and the simple idea there so i believe that anybody who actually knows or understand mathematics mathematics is gonna adjust as in do this very little work here this is not really hard okay very simple so if this is here is two centimeter here is a centimeter as i'll show you here if you come here this is your radius of this very circle this is also the radius of the circle equal two centimeters two centimeters we can now go ahead and find our gh and um our ef thank you very much look at the next video let us go ahead and solve the problems thank you